Incidents of road rage, they are not slowing down in Michigan. In fact, state police say it's a constant problem. According to the website EverytownResearch.org, the number of road rage incidents have more than doubled between 2016 and last year. Now, with the end of construction season approaching fast, experts say that may add to the frustration. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with drivers for their first-hand accounts and a psychology professor on the underlying issue. Ramez Haidar, Francesca Stax, and Gio Bronco all have the same thing in common. They are drivers and, like many of us, have witnessed road rage. There is so much anger right now. Somehow you see people driving crazy. This guy just comes flying through the red light, and the lady, she stopped, she blew her horn, and he pulled out a gun on her. And all she could do was put her hands up, and he said, he, he made a comment saying something like, yeah, now what's up? And then you see the guy that just was literally cussing out the first guy that was cutting off people get out, and I think he's just starting to try to get into the driver door. You know, road rage is wild, you know what I mean? Especially nowadays, you got people getting crazier and crazier every day. Michigan State Police Lieutenant Mike Shaw says road rage happens every single day on all Michigan roadways. He says MSP is getting a lot of calls. However, at the same time, he says people are not stopping to talk with police and often they don't want to file a police report. And so people get this road rage when they feel like they're um, space or their rights have been infringed upon by somebody else aggressively maybe even and it feels like a moral violation or a social violation. Dr. Stephanie Preston is a psychology professor at the University of Michigan. She says perpetrators of road rage lack empathy often because they aren't face to face with the other driver and they're angry because traffic or a stoplight are slowing them down between point A and point B. Well, I think there's a lot of features that can make the situation worse. For example, there's a lot of construction happening right now because they have to basically finish every project they started before the frost comes. Another literal barrier on top of other life stressors, intensifying their underlying anger issues. How can a person avoid or minimize that, that, situa that situation from becoming worse? For one, she says don't match their negative energy. Sometimes really simple cues of, you know, social forgiveness, like the wave or the sorry, you know, can do a lot of good in terms of alleviating people's stress because they're feeling like disrespected or mistreated. Preston says a little acknowledgement can go a long way. Nowadays, everybody is in such a rush and People just need to slow down. My advice, the way I do it or tell my kids to do is stay out of it, you know, stay away from people, give yourself space, you know, don't be like right behind them. I counter uh, with just road rage in general. I counter that by just like, kind of remembering like who I am and like what do I got to lose. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.